My name is Jillian, and I am currently the online facilitator for our Grief Share. Grief Share is uh, for those who have lost a loved one. It could be you know recent or in years past, who are struggling with the loss of their loved one and how to cope and manage life um, with with the void of that person being gone. And then also mixture, mixing in the gospel with them um, and their journey and what that actually looks like and how they can use the hope of Christ in order to move forward in their grief and also feel victorious in a life um, that's kind of been changed in their path. With COVID, uh, it messed everything up, of course, and everyone was isolated. And with that, the ministry just kind of fell silent. And I was noticing people who were really struggling with um, death that was happening during the pandemic, especially during our quarantine period. And I just felt led to start an online group where we could all still be in our homes, but we could still meet on a weekly basis. Um, and so we ended up having um, around 13 people signing up from the community. So we've had participants from Misa, Connell, uh, Eltopia. We've had a participant from Colorado. Uh, and it's just kind of really just impacted our community and even our region with the gospel of Christ and that there is hope. Uh, in grief and that with his love and his support and his encouragement they can move forward even when they're feeling isolated even in the middle of a pandemic and we have found that our participants are just more open and more willing to receive the word of God and to hear the gospel if they're at home they're also more willing to share and to actually lean on each other. So we've started a pretty strong community of about 18 people. The online component has really reached people because like I said, they're comfortable just to see their reliance on Christ more uh, than they were relying on him at the beginning of the pandemic in March. We have a participant who um, was impacted by the true gospel of Jesus Christ through grief share and was realizing and recognizing that through the true gospel, a person can have peace in Christ. Uh, and so this participant is, has just been seeking throughout the entire pandemic season. And in the fall has been seeking to understand and to know what the true gospel of Christ is and what does true salvation and security and peace actually look like. Because this person had a lot of voids uh, in their life and a lot of hardships and just really wrestling with the fact that there's just been so much grief and turmoil in their life and yet outward worldly solutions have not solved any of that. And so hearing the gospel through two cycles uh, of Grief Share, this person just kept seeking and reaching out and then came into salvation of Jesus Christ in, uh, in November and now is walking faithfully with Christ and seeking on a daily basis, um, his grace and his love and understanding what that actually looks like. To see this person now at Versus in the spring and the summer uh, is a complete change because this person's life is just full of peace uh, and is also full of security, knowing that Christ loves them and that Christ is enough. I'm just really looking forward to it growing and to reaching people who might not necessarily walk in church doors or might not necessarily feel comfortable to share in a large group sitting in a circle, right? Because people are sharing their stories of their grief with their family and their friends, and now people are joining more and more and more. I absolutely love Grief Share and, and being able to, to reach people who are quiet and silent.